Say, this is Devin Hunter here from Minneapolis, and I want to shoot out this real quick tip um, about a Weber, and hopefully um, this will help you out, and hopefully you don't run into this, but just in case if you do, this is how you fix it. All right, one thing that uh, whenever you have an a Weber email autoresponder, and you're creating a new list name, what you want to do is ensure that uh, that list name is available. Okay, once you enter in that list name right underneath that, you're going to get a little green um, indicator. It's going to say list available and little exclamation point. Okay, you want to make sure that's, that that uh, works for you right there. And then whenever you create your email series, you're going to take that list name and populate it into your um, email autoresponder or your capture pages, whatever company you're in. Uh, sometimes it might say set up autoresponder here or autoresponder in her name or whatever it might be you put that in there and you want to make sure that you save it once you have everything done guys you want to make sure that you test 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 what I mean by that is this is grab a capture page okay for if you have numerous capture pages and might have different Aweber list name campaigns email campaigns you want to test each one of those campaigns. All right. So let's say um, you have, you know, two different list names, couple different cap capture pages. You want to grab that out, enter an email address in there, and make sure that populates between your capture page and the Aweber. All right. Make sure it's all linked up because if not, there is a good chance that the people who opted in that they won't be receiving any of your emails because. Um, it wasn't connected together. There is no integration. There is no flow in between it. Okay. So the biggest thing is, is because I used to be in the software industry, is you test, test, retest. Okay. Um, just go in there, enter your email address, take one that is a first time use for your Aweber account, and uh, use that. If that works, great. Then find an email address and uh, go ahead and take that same email address and re-enter it into another campaign. So that way, if somebody was in one of your campaigns and they want to get some information about training, but now they want to get information about, hey, how do I get started now with you as far as a business opportunity, they can actually enter that same email address into that sec second campaign and it will work. Okay, guys, so the biggest thing here is always test, 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 and retest. And that way, everything runs smooth, smoothly. So when you do go live with your, um, your, your, your campaign, that it does work. Okay, guys, so hopefully this helped out with you. Uh, this is Devin Hunter from Indianapolis. Uh, right below this video, you're going to see some information as far as what I do. Click on the, click on the links down there. Um, hopefully you can find some value out of that and um, get some tips from it on some different things that I do and uh, that will help you increase your business uh, getting free leads and traffic and um, and uh, increase your sales also. So guys, I'm out of here. This is Dan from Indianapolis. We'll see you. Remember, click below. Bye.